So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover the lab that is dataplex quick start command line so first of all click on start lab now in case you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it and like the video now open cloud console in incognito window now here it may ask sometimes for username and password so check the lab for it if it's sign in like this don't worry just continue with the lab now click on i understand and this is a very easy and conceptual lab so make sure to follow each step by step via video and let me know in the comments if you face any error here first of all you need to activate the cloud shell so for activating the cloud shell click on this now wait for the cloud now, shell now meanwhile activate. from the lab instruction we need to enable the api so first of all we need to enable the dataplex api so copy that wait for the cloud shell to open so as you can see now click on continue now we will have to click on authorize here just enter the enable api command which we just copied from the lab instructions as you can see it's here now hit enter now wait for this api to enable after that we will do all the steps and we will learn how to create our dataplex how to create tag template and how to apply the tags so now wait for the api to enable as you see we got this error and most of you are facing this error so i am telling you how to resolve this error so don't worry in case you face such error you can refer to the lab or if it's not there just type here g cloud space auth space login and then hit enter so now click on y means type y and hit enter now open this and now select the lab username so basically here we have to authorize ourselves because sometimes lab uh, lab does not provision the resources automatically so for that we need to authenticate as we are the real user so first of all click on this now select the student id Now click on continue. Click on continue. Now here scroll down. And click continue. And then copy this. And paste here. Now finally when we will enable the API it will work. So let me show you how it works. So as you can see finally the APIs have been enabled. Now for the next task we have to export our project value and region. Mostly these two. So finally it's also done. Now we will set the region. So finally the region is also set. Now first step we will create a lake named wait a moment e-commerce. So first of all we are creating a lake based on name e-commerce. So wait for the lake to get created. Sometimes it may take 5 to 10 minutes or even 2 minutes. Let me speed up. So finally the lake has been created after 5 to 7 minutes. It might differ depending on your range. So now as you can see we got the score for lake. Now we have to add the zone. So for that enter this. So basically we are creating order curated zone. Basically there are two types of zones raw zone and curated zone. So for this we are creating curated zone. So finally the zone has been created. Now we will be hitting check my progress for this task and as you can see we will get the score without any issue. Now we have to create a data set which we will be adding as an asset. So first of all create the data set that is orders data set. So after the data set has been created we will create asset that is order curated data set. So wait for it. Data set is being created. Meanwhile, in case you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe it and like the video. So finally, it's done. Now, so now we will move forward to another command. 
that is we will be creating the the we will be creating the asset so hit enter so wait for the asset creation it will generally take two to three minutes even less depending on the lab assets so finally it's done now we will move forward to the lab instruction again and check the check my progress for this task So finally, we have attached the asset. Now it's time to delete the zones, assets and lakes as a part of sustainable development. So once we use the resources, it's our moral responsibility to delete, to delete the resources if not in use. So now enter it and then Y and then hit enter. Don't worry, I'll show you a way if you face error on the last task through. So follow the video carefully till the end. as you can see we are getting error so here is a way if you face such error we can also manually delete it so let me show you how we will manually delete the assets and data sets and so on so first of all as you can see it's showing again error and also we got the output but maybe sometimes it may work or sometimes it may take longer so for that if you want to complete it early first of all let's try again now y and then hit enter so as you can see it's showing already deleted so now let's do it manually so let's say check my progress for the last time so it doesn't work now here type dataplex on the search box you have to type dataplex wait for it now here click on dataplex or just click on lakes see you can click on lakes or just click on dataplex then on the left side select manage you will be redirected to the lakes so here are two ways to navigate to the dataplex so finally as you can see here is e-commerce data set which we created in task number one so when we will try to delete it it won't work because first of all we need to delete the assets inside them i hope you understand that first of all we need to delete the inside assets so it's showing failed so don't worry, I am here, I will help you how to complete this task too. So now close the unwanted pop-up. Now here, click on the e-commerce. Now it will open the asset and data set zone. So click on e-commerce first, in case you haven't clicked. Now wait for the asset to get load. wait for the page to fully load then select the order curated zone now here we will delete it so now click on the delete part and select delete now wait for it to get deleted as you can see zone deletion has been started now we will delete the e-commerce data set too so right click delete and just type delete in small letters and confirm so now it has also started so wait for the deletion to complete meanwhile in case you haven't liked the video like it and subscribe to its channel as you can see we got full score without any issue now let me show you how we get full score as you can see we are done with the lab guys have a great